Lying down here, looking up there. <laughs> That's me, I'm mildly confused. Okay, welcome. <laughs> Let me just mute that echoness. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew for our semi regular Friday broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Darcy's usually here. Mm -hmm. um, but he is under the weather today. No, unfortunately, he's not feeling so well. So you're going to have to yeah. put up with me instead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my backup. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let me just get the microphone pointed at us. There we go. So we have three more games today. Exciting. Very yeah, exciting. Uh, as opposed to last time where it was just uh, Wall Jump Ninja. Yeah, Which that was fun. I really like that game. I, I may start playing that behind your back <laughs> so that I can beat your high score next time. So Beat the world record that I tied for? <laughs> yeah. I still need five more approvals to make it the world record uh, nice, on nice. highscores.com. Yeah, excellent. So get in there and vote. <laughs> but I still, I still do want to beat that record, though. It's going to be very difficult when the opening is the same size as your guy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, think, I think you're going to have to just keep getting to that that room and practicing it over and over again because it just yeah. seems it seems so so picky yeah it is it's very small yeah mm -hmm. so today's games uh we have three it's uh squish em, uh jump vcs and swoops all very simple games okay not complex not rpg adventures that last forever and things that we can play a game within minutes i think this uh at least the swoops one this is a collection of multi uh collection of mini games oh okay oh, so they're cool. really really simplistic nice. four four games on one card but we're gonna start off with squish em. and this is a game i actually played back in the 80s mm -hmm. on my commodore 64. Mm -hmm. um it was called squish em sam mm -hmm. uh i don't know if you ever heard of that one but you might, I don't know, no, you might recognize know it when it when, okay. we, when it comes up. Um, and I think it was also, it was put out uh, on other consoles um, way back in the 80s as well. Mm. But it never came out for the Atari 2600. And it should have. Um, this doesn't seem like too complex of a game to make back then. Like, you don't need any super special things. But this is a really uh, nice conversion. I just... Played it briefly to test it out because it was a little bit weird. Mm. Uh, the colors were crazy, but I found out that you have to boot it on black and white mode, a uh, bl black and white setting. Okay. Because um, I think you can boot it in PAL or NTSC, depending on that. I don't know. I, I just found that out just trying it because it's like I couldn't see the enemies. It was crazy. Mm -hmm. And also, I'm today. I'm wearing my Missile Command socks. Covered in cat fur. Covered in cat fur. <laughs> lots and lots of cat fur. <laughs> so am I. Oh, the I just, video yeah. camera's a little crazy. Eh, that's okay. In what sense? Oh, it's just a little laggy. Mm. But that's okay. We're going to go to broadcasting and we'll be looking at the game. There we go. And that won't be laggy. Because that encoder is good. I think I'll be getting a new encoder for the video camera because mm. that is, is bad bad news all over Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. so let's get to squish em, sam um i'll let you have a go at it first i don't even know how to play this game that's so. fine neither do i really i think i have the sound going let's just see yep there we go so i'll give you the basics you're climbing a building don't run into things, and you can press a button to squish. Lift your legs and squish the buggies. And you want to get to the top. Oh, an arena foot is here as well. Oh. Well, I'm going to have to figure out that timing. <laughs> <laughs> an arena, vo arena foot says he's never played uh, squish him. Um, oh, no, I can't do that. <laughs> you have to press a button to lift your foot to, to squash them. Well, yeah, but it's very specifically timed. You can't hold your legs oh. up, if that makes sense. Yeah, it's a one-button go. Like, you have to... And you can move... There we you go. You can move well, having your legs up. But you have to get used to the way it works. Yeah. 
I don't think there's a timer. It doesn't look like there's a timer. And I think they do come back to life, so yeah, you don't want to hang around beside them. And your goal is to get to the top of the building. Um, I think I said this before, a lot of games in the 80s were based on construction sites for some reason. Was there a lot of construction in the 80s going on that they were so influenced by, um, by, uh, like these buildings going up around them that everything had to be based on girders, like, um, Donkey Kong was like you're climbing a construct, uh, under construction building, and, and same with this one, some, some guy is trying to get to the top. Oh, last guy, I think. Last guy? You move? Yeah, okay. Okay. I don't know what that color means. I think you just got to another level of the building. Oh, now there's... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Head straight forward. So apparently... <laughs> apparently that's not like a vitamin or something like that. <laughs> Things falling from the roof to your head? No. Okay. My turn. So you start off with three lives. Oh, too early. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, you just keep... Oh, I see. I didn't realize you could... Hold it down? And move at the same time. So that oh. does change things significantly. Good. <laughs> well, I didn't lose a life, but it That's did flash sign. the screen. Um, so it looks like I'm progressing a little bit. What? Oh, bad timing. Did I not? Did I press it too early? Don't Looked like I died, even though that What's looks that? like a lunchbox that I. Oh. oh. What makes it easy? Did I reset to the next level? Ah. Oh. That was close. lunchbox like zoomed me ahead or something now that thing falls down oh bad timing exactly where you are so if you hear it coming just move left or right see it was right where i was oh that was close yeah you turned right back around <laughs> to try and get you <laughs> ah oh gold I'm not sure if you can just touch that or you have to squish it. No. I haven't reached the top yet. Maybe I'm supposed to just get my lunchbox? Ugh. Oh my goodness. Those guys are very erratic in their movements. So far I can't tell if I've... Well, there's the lunchbox again. Okay, so the goal is to get your lunchbox. And then you to keep go going? To, your, to go to your lunch break. And then I guess you get to the next level. Because there's different creatures now. Yeah, different styles of spiders. Yeah, are they moving more quickly? Movements. It looks like they're, oh, they're moving a little, a little, little faster. Oh, those guys. Yeah, those guys are a little bit slow. They're like slow? Do you have to squish them more than once? No, they seem to be fine. Maybe they come back faster. Or they turn towards you? That's yeah. It looks they, like they're they, turning towards they're you. They're just on a, a straight path towards you. Which, you know, they're slow, so it's okay. That guy doesn't seem to be moving, so I'm going to get him. Okay. Bonus? There's a bonus? Didn't get a bonus to life, but... Ugh. Come on. Oh. oh! White! I've already squished him, so you can't squish him again. Really? Yeah. You can only get it once. Mm. That makes sense. So, so you tried to squish him again and it didn't work? Yeah. Oh, you just have to touch the lunchbox. Okay, good to know. Okay. Good to know. You've so got ghosts now. You're running from ghosts. Yeah. So what kind of building has, like... <laughs> All these things. Spiders and ghosts and aliens. Very infected. And, I don't know, haunted and... What oh, happened timing. there? Last life. Oh, bugs. Did you... They, those look like... Did you ever play the game Bed Bugs? It's a board game. Mm. 
Oh yes, I did. I did. I thought you were you were gonna mention. Oh no no no! Not a video game. No, yes, I did play a board game. It was the noisiest game ever created. My sister and I had it, and you wound it up, and it was like a piece of cardboard, and a thing that was hitting the cardboard from underneath. I think I'm just gonna touch that. Yep. And it went quack 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 quack, and there's a bunch of plastic bugs. Yeah, and they jump around. And they jump, and you have to catch them? How do, what was the aim of the... Like, avoid them? Catch them? Oh, I got an extra life. Yeah, some... Maybe you have to catch them. I can't remember now, but I do remember that game. It was a guy with his head sticking out from his bed, and the bed was full of bed bugs. Yes, that's right. Were you... Did you have tweezers, and you had to pick them up? Some... Thing like I think that. so, and you were picking up, I think, your col own color. The first oh. person to pick up all of their color, one, or it was something like that. Oh, I, that I need sense. to look up a <laughs> YouTube video of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I remember playing it, and I think we only played it like twice because it was so unbelievably noisy. It was like, Bleh! so we just we threw it away because <laughs> it was just too noisy to play. What's happening? <laughs> What's happening? It's time for the instructions. So, uh, on the credits in the back, it said it was uh, originally designed by Tony Ingo, 1983. And uh, this game was uh, programmed and by uh, Bob, Bob Montgomery and published by Atari Age. Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's the cover. Oh, I just I'm I'm, I'm not uh, timing myself very well here at all. <laughs> you can go again. Yeah, I, I want to try that again. It's terrible. So it says it seems ridiculous and too good to be true. Are there really suitcases full of money at the top of these unfinished buildings downtown? Ah, so it's not your lunchbox. It's a suitcase full of money. <laughs> Uh, it feels like it, it looks like a lunchbox. But it does. Uh, the ones sense. under construction and those suitcases, they're just there for the taking? You would never have believed it except that <laughs> the guy who told you about it, a regular union guy like you, just bought a brand new Corvette. You know that two weeks ago he didn't have that kind of money, so you guess he's telling the truth. When you asked him how come he didn't get the rest of the suitcases, he got an odd look on his face and wouldn't say another word. Hmm. Strange. So climb the 48 floor buildings to grab the cash-filled suitcase at the top of each one of those. Watch out for falling bricks and those creepy critters. So it's falling falling bricks, and it is a suitcase full of money, not your lunch. Because <laughs> it would be kind of like, why would you go and fight all these creatures just for a sandwich? Um, so you'd have to have a bit more incentive than that. I think you can just touch that. Uh, it doesn't say what those are. Maybe those the are falling bricks. No, the thing you touch with your foot and got a flashing on the screen. I can go to points. Yeah, those are bricks. Uh, it doesn't say anything about the TV type color in black and white. Oh, it says it's not used. <laughs> That's odd. But it's definitely used. I put it on color and it was going nuts. Um. Yeah, we know the controls. You can choose the starting level, 1 to 15. Um, and then the game reset. And the difficulty switches are not used. So it's just the game select. You cannot switch a white creature. Yeah. Uh, begin with four men and extra men. One in play and three extras. You can have up to 127 extra men, but only six will be displayed. If your man gets knocked off the building by a brick or a creature, you lose one man. Collect a prize to get a mo bonus man. A prize? Was it, were those those things? In... Oh, maybe. It just says they're called prizes. Maybe they are just prizes. Yeah, okay. Uh... Ah! Smacked in the head with a brick. If you need a breather, you can safely rest at the same floor as a suitcase. Those are suitcases? Is suitcases this... full of money. Yeah, We but... just established that, didn't we? Yeah. 
Yeah, but I thought that was at the top. I guess you could have a rest at the top, but yeah. you could have a rest here. Is that a suitcase? Did you get an extra no. life? No, it, it looked like a Just clock. Points? Yeah, I, it's not explaining what those things are. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Is that yeah, the beginning? No, one more. Nope, you got one more. <laughs> and the person you're playing, so you technically have two lives left. Um, yeah, it doesn't say what those things are, really. It, it talks about prizes and suitcases. Oh, there's only one prize per building, so that is an extra life. Huh. So that should be an extra... Oh, that's your suitcase. That does look like a suitcase. There's a little hand. So you can take a break here. Yeah. Oh, no. No, you can't. <laughs> oh, I guess you can take a break there because there's no creatures. Before you take the suitcase. <laughs> oh, before you take the it's suitcase. It's got to be before. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Distracted. That's so funny. I'm like, you can take a break. No, you can't. No, no, you can't. <laughs> well, all you have to do is move left and right. Out of the way. That's not. But not like walk away break. Oh, man. I'm, I'm very bad at timing my squishes. <laughs> very bad at timing. Okay, let's see how many. It's funny that they mention how many, like 126 lives, or 126 lives you can get. It's usually not something you mention in a manual. Like the maximum number of lives you can get, because it's so outrageously high. Anybody saying anything? I can't see it. I'm too far look away. at the chat. Too far away? Someone asked, can you go downward in the game? Oh! No. Oh, I never even tried that. Because I was actually thinking about that. Um, to go That's around a white guy. Because what, what happens when the guy turns white? You're dead. Well, if, if he if runs into you, into you, yes. So yeah, you have but, to dodge him and but hope... If, if your escape is on the other side of him, you can't get past him because mm. you can't... Oh, yes, you can. You can lift up your legs, just not squish him. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. So you don't technically need to go backwards, but no, you can't. Just trying to press down right now. Yeah. Nothing's happening. And I, I apologize. I can't see from this distance. <laughs> Do you have your tablet? I can no. grab it. Do you want me to grab my tablet? Yes, please. Okay. I'll be it's much easier. Or my tablet, because I have a That's Twitch it. Twitch login. All right. Yeah. I mean, I played this back in the day, so I know a little. Like this plays just like the C64 version. It's a very good conversion. Really, really, really good. Did I just get an extra life? Does it mean you get an extra life every thousand points? What happened there? Every thousand points? Or... I don't think the manual's right. It says you get an extra life. Or maybe I conf conflated those two things together. You get a thousand points. No, I have no idea. open up switch and it should you might have to go to the stream I wish it tells you what building you're on like what level what floor yeah kind of thing? Not, not the floor so much because that's not that's not too important but like like what what building you've made it to. Like, this is the second building. I think you can wait here. I'm going to try this out. See if any bricks drop. Oh, actually, I can... Oh, you got it? Yeah. Does it look actual... like any bricks are going to drop? No, I don't think this is it. There we go. No, no bricks. No bricks. Okay, there we go. Okay, get the suitcase. <laughs> Sorry for the delay, just setting up so we can see the chat a little bit closer here. <laughs> Vertical or horizontal? Sun shifting. Ah! I find this game a little, a little too, too easy. Like, it's mostly like mistakes that kill me. Not, not like it's hard, but just silly mistakes on my part. 
and... Oh, like that. That was ridiculous. I was waiting for the brick to fall and got way too anxious about it. Not anxious, but... What? I had my legs up in the air. It's timing, though. You have to hit them at the right point. That's what I've noticed. It doesn't make any sense. Did I get a free life? No. I think I read the manual wrong. Because <laughs> I swear it said you get a free life by getting those prizes. And there's one for each level. But maybe it was like... I must have read it wrong. I keep going too quick. I wonder if there's white um, well, guys later where you don't even squish possible. them and they're I white. Mean, uh, they definitely come back to life white. Oh, I have to get up. Yes, yeah, they come back to life white. Oh, now it gets harder, actually. These they're ghosts really quick. move quick. Ooh, oh, that's easy. Ah! Oh, I was going trying to go back down. But that's not a possibility. They're definitely their movement's more erratic now. Yes. They're not going straight for you, so they lull you into... A, Ah, uh, the bed bugs. Ah, <laughs> uh, ah, uh, get out of here! I'm gonna have to. Oh, oh. that's hard. It's not. It's very, very closely timed. Yeah, especially if they're following you. So a good strategy is to, if you're gonna squish, I made it over that one. You're almost better off not squishing them then. Oh, uh, it's hard you know? not to squish them. Well, I mean. But yeah, it is. Not or Just try not to. Or as soon as you squish them, make sure you have an, a way to get. Oh, that was close. A way to get up right away. Looks like a bad thing, doesn't it? It's not. <laughs> I mean, good good character design for the, the little creatures. For, oh, yeah. For how small they are. I get. It's the animation that makes it. Ah, ah get out of here. He is hovering. Look at that guy. Mm -hmm. He's hovering. They look like little viruses. Yeah, yeah. What are they? Um, um, I can't remember right off the top of my head the name. Uh, what, they have uh, those little yeah, yeah. prongs? And... Yeah, they look very menacing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, you've got... Little wiggly pies. They're slimes. Ah, They're like little, little, little slimes. Did better this time. You want one more go at it? No? You play You're again done. if you want. Yeah. No, I think I'm done. It's a little repetitive. It's, it's it's fun. It's fun. Don't get me wrong. Um, but it does seem a little For what it is at repetitive. that point, but it's the same exact yeah. thing. Yeah. And it, it, I like, I like as you say, I like the creature design. Yeah. You know, they change it to ghosts and the little virus guys and yeah. the bed bugs. Um, uh, so I do like that. Um, yeah, But yeah, it's a little cool. repetitive for me. And I'm yeah. getting this weird effect, and I don't know if people out... In, out in the internets in the yes. world um, <laughs> where the black and the the green lines where they oh. intersect in the middle create black boxes and I know that's like yeah. a visual phenomenon I can see when you the... stare at it I can but see... it is making me go a little wonky uh, and it's 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 you know it's not I'm... my apple juice it's it's, <laughs> it's 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 the black the little black I don't know but um, there's I think it has something to do with the size and shape of them but it, yes. it has that weird optical illusion yes I've done that optical um, illusion before on paper yeah with the intersecting lines and yeah you can't if you stare at it you can't see the dot you can only see the dots around at the it. periphery of your vision almost yes. so I don't know I don't know if, if there's anyone else out there I, I who's can see seeing, it, I can see it seeing happening the same on phenomenon but I can see it on the feed as well so um, it yeah is happening. It's, it's it's definitely messing up my eyes a bit so let's uh, see if I can remember the shortcut keys. There we go. Uh, so let's uh, pop out that game. And you can see right here, this is the, there, there we go. Oh, a little too close to focus. Squish them. Cool little game, a little repetitive. But it's cute. I like it. it I do cute. like it. Yeah. It needs a little more variety because it is exactly the same thing over and over again. Yeah. Except the the brick isn't in the first level or the first section of the first yeah. level falling down. And I'm sure as you go on, I mean, you may encounter additional cute little 
or there may be there may be Maybe. more bad guys there may be more things i mean we didn't really get that far into it but it didn't, um, it didn't change from level one all the way to level three no but but definitely the little monsters the little yeah. the little guys patterns yeah um had different patterns as far as their movement whether they would track you whether they were erratic whether they'd come back and they tr uh, they chase you so yeah i think that's you know it shows a lot of thought went into them but yeah uh, not enough but i mean <laughs> <laughs> they're they remade a game that already exists. Yeah. yeah and yeah. you don't want to... Reinvent the wheel. Yeah, reinvent yeah. the wheel or make it different than the yeah. original game. They mm -hmm. just wanted to port it over. So that makes sense that you wouldn't change it, I guess, yeah. if, it, if it worked back then. Um, so this one is Jump VCS. And this one is was made in 2014 by Repixelate. Um, mm -hmm. Released on Atari Age as well. The biggest releaser of uh homebrew, homebrew atari, games, atari yeah. 2600 games so that's why they're all from there i do have some from other companies but we haven't hit them yet um now this i believe is a port of a modern game um those mm. endless runner games mm. um the c64 version of this is like really really nice for a commodore 64 game but I think it was originally just like on a tablet, like on Android or iOS. Um, so let's uh, pop this in. Oh, that one's crunchy. There we go. Good game. Oh, this this one we're, we're going to play, Jump VCS? Yes. <laughs> oh, very nice title screen. Love the, uh, the colors there. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me switch over. There you go. believe it's a, just a one button game so just jumping i think there might be ducking uh as well but i can't remember and this one has amazing <laughs> graphics as well for Ooh the boy that's a bad start <laughs> for the buildings up top and uh fairly like as as good a scrolling that you can do with a play field um for the buildings that you're running along and very creative use of of um, a player character up above because your head does bob into the top <laughs> so they're only using um uh one player up at the top and triplicating it and moving it along the top and then using uh probably a the the ball or the missile uh for the tall buildings up top as well um so really really good use and Oops. the building scrolling at the bottom um, is doing you know four pixels at a time and it's as smooth as that can be <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got one two three <laughs> you have to it looks like you have to collect six um things for a new life or something to make it to the end of the level oh really I oh believe. gotcha yeah. got... <laughs> and the c64 version is like really nice birds that fly off as you start Oh, really? And, yeah, in the Android and iOS version, uh, I think there's ducking and sliding and crashing thing through things, and these are kind of this more scaled down. Um. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> I, I really want him to jump further to the point where I'm, I'm pushing on my... I have, to, I have to just release my hand entirely because I'm trying to... like It's like <laughs> mentally trying to force force him for, forward uh it, but it's a it, oh, it is see. uh it, he has a very short jumping range if that makes sense more realistic almost sort of <laughs> it's not superhero jumping no <laughs> and you do have to kind of jump at the last minute almost it is at the last minute for sure like get as close to the edge as possible especially when you're going up yes because you have to make it that distance are you doing better now? Oh, <laughs> uh, um, I mean, it's because you wait too long. Like the where I'm falling off the edge there. Is, yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to leave it too long. It's not that you're not jumping. You're just jumping it too I, late. I, I just a touch too late. So you're jumping where there is no ground beneath you to jump from. There's a weird thing too where you jump and if you, it's almost like you're clipping the edge and you do a, d a double jump. Do mm. you see that? Oh yeah. Where you jump so, again on the other side, you mean? Uh, okay, I'll show you when I hit here. 
You, it's yeah. almost like you're clipping your toe and you're double oh, jumping. Oh, it's probably so he can get up a little bit. Oh, you are double jumping. Oh, that was bad. My turn. So you haven't made a level. No, no. I have not. <laughs> and you get six lives or seven, depending on how you count it. Oh, yeah, automatically jumped off that. Whoa, that was weird. Oh, yeah. No, he usually falls, not jumps. What just happened? <laughs> What was that? That was a glitch. That definitely was a glitch. Maybe it was on demo and I didn't actually start the game yet. Oh, possibly. That was very strange. Yeah. Uh, it led me to... Mm. Death and ruin. Yeah. Because it made me jump for it, but then I fell down but because really, I couldn't get... you shouldn't have jumped for it. No, I shouldn't have. And there's like long periods of time with no dots. <laughs> Yeah. Like they gave you a bunch at the beginning, like three, because I have three now. But where's the other ones? Am I doing something wrong? No, there's no movement. There's no movement. No ducking. Maybe no. you have to start over and get the same dots. Maybe it, like loop it's, around? it loops around. Oh, yeah. There we go. No, no, no. Yeah, I don't think that's true. I wonder if it's randomly drawn. I think it is. I think I think this game is randomly drawn. Mm. Oof! Flashies. I got all six. Okay. What's you happening? Get, you get pretty colors. I'm gonna jump, jump. Oh, just oh, the ending. Oh, nice. Okay, level two. Hey, ah, uh, uh. Made me miss one of them. Yeah, looks pretty randomly drawn, doesn't it? So now it's like sunset, so yellow. You've got, you're in yellow land now. Yeah, yellow buildings, yellow like sky. Mustard, mustard yellow land. Yeah. Still looks good. Did the buildings change color? Were they black before? Were they black before? They were black and and a gray white background, I think. Yeah. Okay. So the buildings change color. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So the, probably the colors are 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 uh, constant. Like that's already pre-programmed. So they're not like some random terrible color combination. <laughs> I don't know how they're gonna make this harder though, because the oh, jumps no. can't get wider. No, but I mean you can have more of them in succession so that you're jumping more because now there's there's That's true there's, there's a, a couple jumps there yeah like I I think um, or narrow ones <laughs> those are fine Don't where mind those. where it's about the timing of the jump and the jump up right the jump across oh, and the jump up so they'll make the jumps closer together I think so yeah Ooh, I think that's the that's big one. easiest way to make it harder makes sense or put the blocks in trickier spots. Yeah, and then you have to, you're forced to go past them because it's its not timed up perfectly. I wonder if you can finish. You're doing way better at this than I was. <laughs> I, I just couldn't, <laughs> I was just having trouble with timing, timing the jump, yeah. the jump point. I wonder if you can, do you have to collect six to end the level or does the level end anyway and whether or not you get six? I think so. You have to get six to I end think, the level. I think you just I think have you to get collect the, six. the pretty flashy colors, and then you you bump up to the next level. Yeah. Cause, oh. oh. Yeah, that's a. Yeah, that was hard because you have to jump and get it. That one's an easy one. You have like yeah. you can't not get that one. You can't not get that one. Oh yeah, it ends right away mm -hmm. when you get the sixth one. Pretty colors. Oh, so nice. Is that moving? No, it's not. Optical illusion. Oh my gosh, it does look like it's moving. <laughs> That's crazy. I feel like, woo. Oh, this is different. Ooh. Oh, it's platform. What happened? I went right through it. No, you didn't. I, I you went... didn't jump. You had to jump for it, and you didn't jump for it. My head went right through it. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you had to jump for it. That's, I can't oh. not get that one. That's uh, ridiculous. Yeah, that is. Well, is maybe. Is a bonus level? I don't think so. Mm. It said level three. Yeah, it was level it's three. Just, it was not bonus. It's uh, just, you've got platforms this time. I mean, it's this, oh. oh, you caught something there. What? It's hidden. It was it was invisible. This level's very weird. <laughs> it's not that it's any different than buildings, because you just, these could be buildings below them, right? It's a change of scenery. I guess. Yeah. I like the colors. More on girders. I feel so far we've had white, mustard yellow, and like this, uh, this nice pink. Yep. Um... Uh, feels very uh, Miami kind of. Um, <laughs> yes. Yeah. If if I were to pick a city that oof, we were oof, actually okay. jumping across the rooftop rooftops in, in I would I would probably say Miami somewhere yeah. hot and tropical. One of the big advantages of the twenty six hundred was that it had two hundred and fifty six colors. 
way, way before any other video game system had um, colors because it drew things line by line. Um, so you didn't have to keep colors in memory for any longer than one line. Oh, it's getting harder. A little bit. But not, not like, I'm going to jump for these. I feel like <laughs> if you don't, they're going to go past you. I think they're going to go right through my head. <laughs> <laughs> Even though my head touches them, I think you have to jump for them anyway. It's like playing in VR, where... Um, I'm not getting that one. Oh, oh, well, you did get it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I had to sacrifice a guy um, for it. But I was going to say, when you're playing in VR, VR. where everything is hitting, uh, uh, you know, you're avoiding things hitting your head. Yes. But counterintuitively, if they go through your chest, you're fine. Right. And I was playing that game, and I, I again, I don't know the name. I'm terrible with remembering names. Um, but where... Um, Oh, someone said, change the artwork on the screen. So whenever oh, you get you. around. <laughs> Thanks, Some... Serena Foot. <laughs> terrible. Um, so terrible with that. If I knew how to do it, I would do it. I. <laughs> but we'll we'll change that the moment. Uh... Can you pause? No, you probably can't no. pause. Some, like, some no. you can. Um, but not this game. Uh, I forget what I was saying. That's okay. Oh, when you're playing VR yeah. and things, uh, yeah, so you, you want to avoid things hitting hitting your head. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, counterintuitively, it will go right through, say, your chest. or So, really, you're yeah. trying to dodge things with your head. And there's that game where you're, um, you know, you're, you're fighting. Pirate something? I can't remember. Where, you, where you're fighting and ooh. they're shooting at ooh. you and it's coming Bonus. from every, ooh, yeah, every direction. Ooh. Wow. It's attacking you in every direction. Now I can do it. Yeah. So you just uh, do that. Take it off game one. Put it on game two. Well, you could have told Transition. me that. Well, it's a bit complicated to tell, like... As you're playing. As, as you're, you're playing, playing where to that's click. True. Yeah. All right. Okay. Level four. And that's that's called a hitbox, is yeah. the area where but, you're vulnerable in a video but game. But if you're a person and something is shooting at you... You know, the head and torso tend to be what you're trying to avoid getting hit. So Usually, I yeah. find that game really fun, but very stressful. And, nope. and yeah, someone was mentioning to me that, yeah, no, it's okay. It'll go through your body, but that just, I just can't do that. I can't. <laughs> if it looks like something's shooting at me. Well, especially in VR. Uh, yeah. It's much more convincing. Yeah, but it is a fun game. I, I'm, I'm not going to remember what game that is. <laughs> uh, on the, on the V Revive 5. Like, it's like, um... These things are flying at you, and you're standing on a platform, right? Well, yeah, and it's very retro. And they're shooting at you, and you have a shield. Arcade-ish kind of game. Yeah, yeah. It's like you're put into uh, Space Invaders. Yeah. Almost. Sort of, yeah. And you're dodging bullets. Uh. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> so we're now in Blue Land, level yep, four. Yep, level four. Um... And this is another game where another it's a platform. little too easy. Well, for you, I kept running <laughs> into platforms. But maybe and I'm on an easy level. Maybe, well, you're only maybe level there's a harder. Four. I'm, I'm going to guess. Or mm, that's possible. Because there wasn't a harder setting for the last one. Otherwise, I would have set it up. I mean, you can. Actually, there was, and we didn't try it. You can set it up to level 15 or something, and I should have done that. Oh, you jump ahead. Yeah. But, I, but it's more of the same, mm. really. It'd be neat to. Like, this has actually changed a little bit. Where there's no more buildings, it's something vi different visually, and the dots are in different spots. Like some of them are, are in impossible spots. Then at the end of this, uh, the last level, they were kind of bo they were bonus dots, mm. but there's no score. Is there score? Have you seen score? No. No. I think it's just a level game. So just how far can you get in the levels? Oh, oh. It's definitely getting harder. <laughs> when they're getting Minorly, closer together. Just minorly, though. And there's just two levels, right? Like, top and bottom. There's no I haven't lower. seen anything lower. Yeah. Where they could have they made Well, maybe made there it is. Maybe there, there ah. will be more in, in future levels. I mean, Oof. like I said, you're only at level four. So. That's true. Oh, there we go. Speak of the devil. Oh, because it's the end of the level. That's yeah. right. Then you drop down. Oh, no bonus things now. Oh, it's moving Green. again. I don't know if it's moving for people on their screen. No, you know what? It's because just moving because because of um, 
because that's what you're used to is that you're, movement. What is that? Because I? it doesn't just look like the five is moving. It looks like the whole TV screen is shifting across. Just, just to me, the five is moving. Oh, no, the whole screen is moving. Like if you've ever been in a me. car watching out the window to the to the right or left, depending on where you live. <laughs> mm. And then you look at it for like a minute or two minutes and then look forward or looked at something else and things are moving on their own that yeah. aren't moving. That's what it looks like to us. Mm. It may or may not look like that to you out there in internet land. Oh my God, what's happening? What was that? Oh. I think I had to jump, jump, Oh, you jump, can jump, jump up. Oh. oh, there's three levels now. What oh, did I say? There what we did go. I say? Excellent. Play. Oh, I couldn't get that. Now there's there's more. There's more to this. And there was that little thing where there's no windows. So you can probably jump up up the yes. floors, I'm going to guess. Yes. You can Which jump I... to a lower floor than a higher floor. Yeah, but you have to get... Hopefully. Out of, the, out of the way of the windows that are coming. So you have to get yeah. to the top. That makes sense. Excellent. More challenge. <laughs> I was getting a little worried. There you go. Oh, yeah. Now yeah, it's getting a little sense. bit more challenging. Okay, good. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> There's barely enough time to get up. See, that's fine. I'm going to say this is randomly generated, but with, like, randomly generated um, scenarios. Like, it's mm. give this, give them this scenario, like, out of one out of 16 types of scenarios, so that it's not impossible. Because I haven't seen something that's impossible yet. Everything is possible to, to get out of. Or not but immediately no, intuitive as to, as to what to do. Yeah. I've seen yeah. blocks that look impossible. And I think they are because they're below what you can jump on. Um, but I haven't seen anything you you can't survive yet. Those are tricky. You have to like jump right away. Yeah, it's like jump, jump, jump. I think you're doing really well. <laughs> yeah, for my first game. Is this yeah. my first game? Is yeah. the first time you've played it? Um, I, I have played it through um, Stella emulation. Mm. But very little. Uh, I couldn't get that one was hard. Um, so I wouldn't say like I played it enough to like maybe the, just the first level, mm. maybe to the second level, just to see what it was like. Um, but not enough to get this mm. far, obviously, because I didn't know this was even part of the game. Yeah. So Arena Foot says screen is perfect, no flicker, which yes. is good. Is good to hear. <laughs> <laughs> that is very good. Because mm -hmm. last time I think some cables. We're loose at the mm -hmm. beginning of our. Well, we were playing. Um, what was it? Ninja. Wall jump ninja. Wall jump ninja. Yeah, they're yeah. just a little. Flickery. There was something. F yeah, yeah, funny kind of happening. In there. Yeah. But you so got that good. sorted. So yeah. That's good. So it's all good. Yeah. And Ooh, so far, six. so good far, job. none of these are like super good advanced job. games where they use that uh, double timing, mm. um, alternating frames. Um, so oh, I see. Yeah, and that c can that yeah. cause problems? Um, just encoding problems because it has to be so precise at getting one frame, mm. displaying it perfectly, getting the full next frame. Mm. And I find that the hardware encoder or the computer is not up to the task, one or the other. But I'll be upgrading my computer within months, I'm guessing, so we'll know if that's the issue. Mm. Okay. Because um, right now, I've got it at... Uh, like it's at 66% CPU usage, um, but there's like many more levels of higher encoding possibilities. So it might be dropping frames at the computer level. I suspect more it's at the hardware level. Just because if you're recording a modern game, like on a PS4 or something, it doesn't really ma make any difference that you um, lose one frame out of 60. Yeah, because you've got 60 frames. Yeah, and, and it's not, it's more like real life. Oh, Ooh, that, that's tricky. I shouldn't have jumped off. Of. Oh no! Is that it? That was it. Oh, that was good. What level? Five? Six. Six? Uh, six level six, yeah. Oh, good. Thank you, Arena Foot. <laughs> Thank you um, <laughs> for uh, doing running okay, commentary. Okay, well, I'll be happy if I pass level one. And then you can go back to uh, trying to beat your level six. Well, it's a long game. Should I do it again? Well, yeah, I'll do one you. more. I'll do one more because I made some silly mistakes early on. Okay, let's read the manual. 
Uh, so this was done by Repixel8 in 2014, like I said. Uh, Jump VCS is an endless runner style game for your Atari 2600. Oh my goodness, I really suck at this. You that re yeah, already? no, that restarted. That that's very strange. That's what it did to me too. Yeah. What is happening? Weird. I think you had plenty of lives, so I don't think you should have. Your game should have ended. I don't think your game no, should no, have ended. No, no, I did. I did. No, did I only had two lives, and I died. Oh really? Yeah, I was. Oh, proper. that was. <laughs> Keep at it till I'm finished the instructions anyway. Uh, featuring multiple stages and increasing difficulty and collectible bonuses. Guide your player across rooftops and ledges of the city whilst jumping over the gaps between buildings and avoiding obstacles. Timing, skill, and a steady nerve are what's required to succeed at Jump VCS. Uh, how to plug in a cartridge. Um, oh, it does support PAL and NTSC. That is really cool when it does uh, supports both on the same cartridge. Um, because it's it's barely different to program for that. Oh, you made it to level two. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Uh, PAL. Oh, you know what? We're playing this on PAL. <laughs> oh, well, it looks fine. It looks fine. It's transmitting <laughs> fine. Yes. So, so why, might, why, it might be how do you know it's out. on PAL? Um, because our, the, the, the VCS or the 2600 is on um, black and white right now. Because from the last game, Squish'em, okay. which needed to be on black and white, or it went crazy. Um, but, but it says it should be on uh, the other setting, color, for NTSC. So the aspect ratio might be wrong here. And it is quite high on the screen. Higher than normal. I mean, it looks fine on the broadcast, so it's, it's okay. Everything's fine. Um, and also all my, like the frame meister that it's going into supports it, uh, PAL input. So it's able okay. to translate PAL to HDMI. And so it's, it's translating it properly. It's totally fine. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's not a big deal. Um, but if I didn't have the frame meister and all that, it would just, it would, it would go nuts or something. <laughs> uh, so that's kind of cool. Title screen. Uh, 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 uh. The, the game will alternate between title screen and demonstration mode. Use the joystick controller button to start the game. Yes. Player, bonus, building, lives, and bonuses collected. You already know all those things on the screen. Um, press to jump. Oh, this, see, this is just cruel. Oh, no. What? <laughs> It was just the bonus at the end. I think it just repeats the screen, but for whatever oh, reason, the little, the little, yeah, bonuses. whatever that is, the... They're called bonuses. Oh, they're just bonuses. <laughs> I was going to say little coins or whatever. Yeah, could have been coins, but they're just bonuses. Yeah. Uh, when you start the game, your player will be dropped into the horizontally scrolling cityscape at stage one and commence running. Will commence running. Start the game of six lives. If you fall down a gap. Oh, as, and, and I did it just as you said that, too. <laughs> or hit an obstacle. No, 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 no. Don't, don't jinx it. No <laughs> jinxing. Lose a life. Each stage is a specific length. No, it's not. <laughs> the specific... Oh. oh. The specific length is six things to collect, I guess. When you reach the end of the stage, the screen will flash and you'll move to the next stage. That, does, that sentence doesn't make any sense. That doesn't quite make sense because you do have to collect the six items. And it ends exactly when you collect the six items. Not six items and later or yeah. five items and later. No, it's six and it stops. Don't do that one. <laughs> don't get that one. I don't think it's possible. Oh, many uh, hints and tips. Many modern televisions oh. support both NTSC Dude. and PAL. If you're unsure which mode to try when starting a game, try NTSC first. Because I'm guessing most people will be playing it on NTSC. So that's that's it. There's no nothing more. Oh. Not that there is much more to say. Um, my turn now. Okay. So what did I... I made it up to level 6. So let's try and beat that. It is a long slog, but 
I won't die as often. That's not too bad. Time. Just just make sure you get all the bonuses, and then it won't be a long slog. That's true. <laughs> there was one level, I think level two, I just hit them all really quickly, and, and I got through it pretty fast. So. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but I, it does seem kind of randomly generated, so it's yes. hard to say when those bonuses will come up again. Like so. last time I played, there was two immediately on level one. And then it just, you didn't see one for a long time, so. Yeah, yeah. so the bonuses definitely are random. It's, it is random, that's for sure. But I think the colors are not. There's a the colors. The no, the no, colors. the colors relate to the levels. Yeah, yeah so those yeah, are for sure. Those are static. So there's yeah. a table of colors. Got the gray white. We got the mustard yellow. So it kind of starts um, off black and whitish. Then we've got the pink. Oh, two in a row. And then blue, then green. Uh, what do? Yeah, 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 I think I so. Remember. Blue then green. Then a purple. There was a purple uh, in there. Or are you calling the purple pink? pink? The the. Oh, see, we always have this <laughs> Purple uh, and pink? Yeah. They're very closely related. Um, or they can be. At least this purple is. Or pink. I think it's pink with a purple. <laughs> with, with the floors are purple. It's a mixture. It's I think it's both. a purple with a tinge of pink. Oh, jeez. <laughs> now this again. <laughs> but, uh, women tend to have... Be oh, come on. Better color perception? Mm. At least statistically. Um... There's certainly a higher instance of colorblindness in men, so. And a higher instance of tetrachromat in women. Yes. Almost We were zero. just reading about that. Why were we reading about that the other day? I don't know. Where, where women actually have extra, what is it, rods? Rods. Or, rods, rods or cones? Uh, one cones, of them. <laughs> I think, in the eye. Whichever one's a color A one. fourth kind that gives them um, more dimension in how they perceive colors. So yes. That's very interesting. And I think almost no men have that. Like, ugh. Oh, Which, yeah. terrible. It's often a sign that something's linked on the X chromosome. Right, yes. Yeah. Now, how is it linked? Like, the, the information's read off the X chromosome, I guess. Well, no, or because part of the um, oftentimes having... having um, what? Oh, I'm on level one. Or... Yeah, this is terrible. <laughs> Sorry. No, uh, um, because women have two X chromosomes, sometimes having double gene can mean something. It can mean that you have the potential of an extra characteristic, or sometimes um, men only having one X chromosome, whereas a woman needs need two. Okay. Um, versus a man only only needs one. Yeah. So so in some diseases, men are more prone to them because the disease only needs to be seen once, and if they only have one X chromosome, it's expressed. Mm -hmm. But if in women, for them to have the disease, they need it on both X chromosomes. So it depends oh. on how the, something's inherited and mm -hmm. how it's how it's. Um, um, Red. Uh, well, um, the impact. Yeah, how it's expressed. How the how, what kind of impact uh, it has. So. Sorry, nerding out in a different way. Oh, I shouldn't have gone for that one. I'm doing terrible. Terrible. Or at least relative to my last game. Which maybe that was just... I'm not getting that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you die. Your first priority is the buildings. The second priority is the dots. Oh, there you go. Yay. Oh, a, a half little building. It's yeah. like, no, this just is the end of the off. level. Yeah. Level ends here. <laughs> yeah, they don't graciously end the uh, the building. It's just like now. Nah. I I think there's like really nice music oh, on the C sixty four version, and oh, like that's really cool. really nice graphics too. Um, this is a an amazing conversion um, for the twenty six hundred. Great running animation on the guy. Um, nice scrolling background up top, nice and smooth. Um, and the buildings that you're running on, it's great. And I like it, I like its simplicity, and and it is the kind of game that once you get into that mode, I mean, like all of the endless runner games. Yeah, you turn off your brain. It, well, well yeah, button, and, and like, it, again, ninja. it becomes kind of meditative, and it does. And there's something nice about a game like that. And you get the. T -t 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 
just like a wall jumping in. It's a it, boing, it, boing, it boing, reminds boing. me of my, one of my favorite games, um, Impossible Mission. Well, because the guy. Where he goes, ch -ch -ch, you can hear his footfalls oh, um, yes. on the, on the um, Very similar. in the in the elevator areas. And then, of course, he he's this just gray and white character who walks and flips and, oh, he and is gray is, and white. he's very simplistic. stick like and simplistic in some ways so is that game by made by epix or yes. released by epix yeah that's yeah. it's the epix guy where is it yeah mm. they had there's a guy that they use in all their all their games like they used them in like summer games they they'll do, oh so and same it's the form same animation yeah same form so they I did think, he do did he do flips though I always thought uh, that was the coolest thing ever yeah was, the flips were was really the good flips he in, did a tuck in right mission. he did a tuck over and a tuck over and you'd be jumping over all the robots <laughs> yeah and, yeah yeah it's a great game that would be a hard game to make on the Atari <laughs> not yeah with the puzzle the puzzle pieces wouldn't work yeah. Um, it'd be too much memory. Um, but the actual levels you might be able to do because usually it's not, rooms. there's only one robot on a level, right? Per mm. level. There's never two. What? No, 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 no. Sometimes there's two oh, on the same. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, horizontal? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never no, mind. no, it's not that simplistic, but you could make a version of it that yeah. would be a little bit simpler, I'm sure. Yeah. If you if you felt, if you were so inclined. <laughs> do um, less puzzle pieces. Yeah. 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 To fit them together would be too hard because the graphics can't be that complex mm -hmm. in a 2600. Uh, you could only you could do the 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 um, room part of it. Mm -hmm. And maybe not the puzzle piece and you just have to collect mm -hmm. a certain number of puzzle pieces. My uh, dream game for the 2600 would be Galaga, which oh, is... Well, that's your favorite game. Yeah, which yeah. would be really hard to make on the 2600 because there's so many things flying and moving at once. Um, but after seeing uh, Bos Bosconian... Um, Draconian, Bosconian's the actual Draconian. Name. Draconian, <laughs> Bosconian's the original name. Draconian, what uh, Daryl Spice Jr. did with that, and how many ships were flying all over the screen at once, and bullets. I think it's totally possible mm. using. Almost. Said it. <gasps> oh. Terrible. That wasn't terrible. terrible. <laughs> you got pretty far. Eh. Eh. <laughs> eh. Okay. Should I do one more or? I think I'm done. I'm done You're with done? this one. Yeah. I, I'm pretty good. Yeah. It's a fun game. I would definitely play it again, but I I'm would kind too. of excited to see what the next one is. So, <laughs> Yeah, that yeah. it has progression. It has levels where yeah. things change a bit yeah. and get harder. And I thought I would breeze through it the second time around. No, it's it's But it's, it's not. It's, it's still precision, challenging. It's and precision it jumping. Is. It because is. you can't jump too early yeah. or too late. Um, so... Yeah, I'd, I would definitely play it again and try and get a... Oh, let's switch over so you don't see the... Oh, don't forget the... What? What's going on? How come that... Oh, because I'm not on there. There we go. Oh, the camera is terrible. Hopefully it's not lagging. Is the camera lagging, people out there? Please let us know, because it's... It's looking really terrible today. <laughs> choppy yeah really choppy mm -hmm. and i'm a little concerned Ugh. Ugh. i don't know why not good not good but then it then it catches up so maybe it's okay maybe it's okay mm -hmm. we'll see so the next game is a mini game collection it says right on there it's uh swoops and i can't tell but it should be fine because mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't have a view of the camera here. Um, I have a very lagged view. Yeah, there it is. Nope, not in focus. Okay, <laughs> that's totally fine. Let's pop in swoops here. And I don't think Jump BCS had any settings for levels. No. Don't forget the, um, yes. the graphics. Yes, thank you. See, I would have forgotten yet again, constantly. Um, so this is a game made by a person whose name I don't know how to pronounce because I get it wrong every time. He's made a lot of 2600 games 
and uh, Thomas Gentsk. How would you say that? Gents? Gents? Probably gents. Gents? I, I, and I don't the, know. The rest of yeah. it just kind of gents. Gents, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. It's um, a lot of consonants. <laughs> gents. So let's give it a go. I'll let you go first. Sure. Um, so we have multiple games then to choose from? Is that the end? Yes. Idea? I think you might be able to select them with game select, but we're on a bouncy one. Oh, I have to switch. There we go. We just started, so you didn't miss anything. Ah! So there's a bunch of platforms and a happy ball and <laughs> and falling. Yeah. And looks like lives in the top left because those are going down. Goodness. Now I there's zero the lives to the left. Oh, and the guy, little happy guy looks down. And there's a number that's going up and down and it goes red and yellow and it's and orange in the background so hmm the number seems to be hovering around five or six or seven or eight Jeez. but it's not really going up a lot okay let me try that one. <laughs> i have so now i'm okay zero three I think you press the button to go higher or no? Mm. Oh my god. Mm -mm. Button does nothing? No. No, you just you just Oh, what? Oh, backwards you can adjust. But moving Two? forwards you just stay in one spot. Oh my goodness. Can I go again? Or you wanna go? go? You grabbed it on <laughs> Nine. Or was the, is this you? Oh jeez, no, you left. can't go backwards. You can, can you? a bit, yeah, yeah. Can you? Yeah, you can go backwards. See, back That's and forward. That's weird. Not sure what the color. Are those like danger levels. Five, six, six, five, four, five. Not sure what the colors or the numbers are yet. Anybody out there watching? Uh, we, I like not reading the instructions <laughs> and then reading them after trying to figure out the game. I just, I find it fun doing that. Um, because, uh, it's how, it's how I grew up with video games is not having instructions, playing Atari 2600 games at other people's houses where they've either lost the manual or they got the game from somebody else or they rented the game i don't think we're doing well because the score is like at zero i don't understand how this is scored so <sighs> oh we have one more guy oh jeez. and the and the colors in the background I'm, I'm sure it's like red is like you're doing bad and so oh of this there we go yellow is doing good your score's oh. going up slowly there. Okay. I want my, one more turn and then I'll read the instructions while you play. So you definitely, you definitely want to be really high up so you have lots of... Well, sometimes you can't get high up, but... Oof. Ah! Really challenging for something that looks <laughs> really simple. Like you're bouncing on... I like it. Ah! Oh. I so like this I. game. It's, 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 I do uh, too. Definitely I don't know how to play it, but I like it. <laughs> this, okay. Bounce little Toto across perilous course of platforms, taking care to not drop him into the abyss. Use the joystick to move Toto left or right. You get four lives in this event, one which will be lost every time you plummet into the inky blackness. Or, hmm, it's not really black. Uh, it's all about precision, so take your time as you line up your next bounce. Don't wait too long, though, or you'll lose points. Oh, that's how ah. you lose points. Oh. There are eight levels of increasing difficulty, with some variations you can select at the start of a new game. So the left difficulty 
is random platforms versus non-random. So right now we are on random oh. platforms. Non-random. Yeah. And right difficulty is static bouncing versus dynamic bouncing. And we're, well, which is, I think we're on B on both actually. So we're on non-random platforms and dynamic bouncing. Uh, static bouncing is bounce heights are all the same. Dynamic is bounce heights relative to the drop height. And I think we're same height all the time. We're static for sure. Static, so we're oh. on A and A. Oh, so hard. Thank you. Yeah. A and A. Um, I think this is... No, this is... Oh, man. Yeah. But it doesn't say what colors are. No, because when you're losing points, it goes red, I think. Oh, it's just when to tell you... When you're slowing down? It tells you that yeah. bad things are happening. Oh. But the numbers loop around. I don't understand. Like, it goes from nine to, to zero. Like, it only goes up to nine. It doesn't seem like there's a proper scoring. I've definitely not hit level <laughs> two. That's all I can say. <laughs> My turn. Yeah. Take a so look how at many the games are on this? Four games. Nice. Hmm. Splatform. Definitely does not like you going backwards. Oh. Mm -hmm. But the, the score just goes to nine. Oh, that was terrible. I don't get it. <laughs> ah. And I haven't seen any levels, but admittedly, I haven't made it that far. I think there's something funny going on here because <laughs> I think at some point you are supposed to increase up. Oh, there's 10. Oh. Oh, that's level. Is that level? I don't know. Maybe. Like you make it so far. You're doing better. Oh, oh there. Now you oh, move level Oh, that's a level. Two. Yeah. Okay. No, that's still score. That's oh, still score. That is score. I'm going to go again. Okay? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. You were getting uh, getting the hang of it for sure. Sort of. <laughs> it's a crash and burn kind of game. <laughs> ah! Momentum. <laughs> it's so hard. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Arena Foot says it's a sideways dottle jump. Dottle jump. Dottle jump. Oh, bye bye. Are you looking for cats? Yeah. There's Where no cats. cats are? That's funny. No cats today. I could have sworn there'd be a kitty. Can there be a kitty there somewhere? Maybe you meant doodle jump. I don't know doodle jump. Ugh. Do you have to make it up to a certain score? Is that... I don't know. Maybe that's how you, you go up a level. You have to get past 10. But you've gotten past 10, I feel. There's something a little bit... No, you don't have to get up to 10. No, it's, but... It's a set length, I think. But you you got to 10. I just find that very strange. It's like you're not getting past 10. It's going from 9 down to 0 again. Still fun. Doing better. I'm getting the hang of it now. These colors oh. are getting a little psychedelic. <laughs> um, with the yellow and the purple. Yeah, it's a bit much. Try the very let's try the variation of random platforms. Which don't seem to make much difference. <laughs> it's 
still just as hard with random platforms. Ah. So yes, Atari has arrived. <laughs> yes. And he's purring. So he, he clearly enj is enjoying the gaming. Oh, good. Yeah. Level two! Yay! Yay! Uh, oh, start over. One more go at it. Okay. Actually, I'm going to try the other variation where... You're going to flip some of the difficulty switches? I've already swi switched it to random uh, platforms. It was random before, though. No. No? It was set platforms. Really? Yeah. It felt pretty random. <laughs> well, they are fairly f random looking, but these are like short, long, doesn't matter. They're varying spots on the screen. Hi, Spinny. And because there's... Arena Foot is just commenting that, yes, doodle jump, not... <laughs> oh. <laughs> And he, he's also expressing he doesn't quite understand the scoring either. No, I, I think I think something is supposed to be turning over past nine, but it's not. I think there's some kind of glitch because it goes, oh, see, that there it went to ten. But then it, uh, sometimes it goes to nine and then loops back around to zero, to, to which zero, is very zero. strange. So I think there is a bit of a glitch there. Um, because looking at the image in, in the uh, manual, it shows it like up at 124 or do you know what i mean like like what? like the, yeah like the those the numbers images, those images are drawn though <laughs> well yes but like yeah it, it does look different than what's on the screen so yeah and the colors are all different too so <laughs> careful with the manual don't worry i'm squishing i'm squishing Okay, let's go to... Next one? No. Well, we're going to go to the bouncing. So the... Oh, this is very different. So the lower you fall... The higher you jump? The higher you jump. Oh. So you re retain some of the elasticity of your bounce. <laughs> so if you go to the bottom, you have a chance of getting back up to the top. Oh, see, I like it's a that. Very I think, different feel. Yeah, I mean, you've probably just gotten used to it with the static yes. bouncing, so. Um, see, but that probably feels a bit more intuitive, a bit more. Does it? it I think a bit more like an elastic rubber ball bouncing up and down? It would. It's more realistic. Yeah. But. Aww. I keep going for one platform and then, no, go for the other one. No, don't do that. Go for instinct right away and stick with it because you don't have enough time to switch directions. Oh jeez, now, now if you want a cat hair before, we are definitely cat hair territory. Lots of cat hair? Yeah, it's a cat hair. Well, it's shedding season. <laughs> it's true. Spring it's has arrived. Time to shed yeah. the winter coat. The cats are uh, dirty at the house, so. <laughs> Yeah, time to vacuum. <laughs> Okay, so let's go to the next game. Is this it? No. How do you how do you select games? <laughs> okay. There's supposed to be a screen. Oh, okay. Well, that's a problem. Reset to main menu. Game. Oh, okay. Here you go. I'm gonna switch it actually back to color. That might be a problem, yeah. I'm going to repower it. Oh, look, that's what it's supposed to look oh, like. Oh, that's what it's supposed to look like. There we go. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> so It's a completely different game. <laughs> it looks very different. <laughs> Can I just play yeah. one round of this? Oh, so the colors were insane. Yeah. Not on purpose. Oh, my goodness. So if you have your TV, if you have your uh, console set to black and white... It doesn't uh, play properly, <laughs> nor does it score properly either. Oh, there's the proper score. Yeah. What the heck is going on? Well, that's funny. 
That is funny. Well, I was looking at the image in the manual, and I was thinking, oh, the manual's images aren't correct because it had the black background, and I was thinking something was really wrong. But that very much makes sense See, now, now. the guy goes red. Oh, and the background, oh, it looks so much better it's, now. It's like it was inverted before. Yeah, everything was crazy and inverted. It doesn't say anything about black and white. Nothing in here. That, that the game goes nuts when you're on black and white mode. And that you don't get the menu. And you can only play Splatiform. <laughs> so that solves that issue. So you're on random levels with a high bounce. Yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to try it to see. So now that makes a lot more sense. Yes. That, it's um, still the that's same game. That's kind of funny. Yeah. Just with proper score. So the next one is Crash, Crash and, and dive. dive. You want to read out the instructions? Okay, so Crash and Dive. While falling down inside a never-ending tower, crash Toto through the colored platforms, scoring points along the way. How do you start the game? So this event is all about color. Use the paddle to move Toto left or right and smash his grinning little face into the colored platforms. Hmm. Do you think the controller won't, uh... It says use the paddle. Oh, paddle! Yeah. <laughs> we'll play this one last. Okay. And we'll get the paddle in a second. After. Okay. The next one... Oh, noisy one. How do you pilot a helicopter with no arms or legs? Fairly erratically, it seems. In this Hollywood finale, oh, is this Cave 1K? Yeah. yeah. Try to help Toto pilot a speeding helicopter down a treacherous cave structure using only one button. If you press the button, the helicopter goes up. If you let go, it falls. Oh my goodness. Be warned, the helicopter has a lot of inertia, so you have to be careful how much lift you apply. It sure does. Of course, there are obstacles to colored platforms that grow and float dangerously in your path as your helicopter gets faster and faster. Oh, that's hard. To give your other fingers something to do, here are some game options you can select. <laughs> so left difficulty, random walls versus non-random walls, and right difficulty, moving walls versus stationary walls. Okay. So we're both, we're on, oh. Can you open it up? Mm -hmm. We're both on A, level A, because they're moving. Oh, so that's moving walls is A, stationary walls is B. Yeah, they're moving. What's the other? Stationary. And then the other one is random walls versus non-random. Okay, what's A? Random? Random. Okay. So I random distances apart, maybe? I don't know. I, yeah, they don't seem random or non-random. Oh, that was close. Oh, Ooh, that was good, though. Oh, just you get one life, right? Yes. Okay. What? <laughs> it's just one time and your score resets. It's not three lives or anything. Oh, it's just geez. a one. Oh, and it shows the top score. Okay, 429. Oh, jeez. This is going to take a little bit of practice. Yeah, it's, it's heavy gravity and very powerful rotors. Lift, very yes. powerful lift. So it's powerful in both ways. Hi, kitty. Hi. Hi. But you get, after you get used to the momentum, it gets a lot easier. Mm. But it takes a little getting used to at first. Whoa. Oh, it's really easy to hit the ground. <laughs> Here you go. Okay. Oh, jeez. That's your one? No. <laughs> it's clearly a game that once once you've gotten the feeling of the gravity and of the movement, um, it'll it'll get easier for sure. Yes. Yeah. You f you can get a hang of it if you like if you press the button like over and over at a regular interval, you can kind of control it a lot better. Mm -hmm. To a point, then they get really close and then mm -hmm. you have to make sudden movements. I don't think I beat it there, I think it was close. I don't know what it was, didn't look at it, but still 429.
very colorful helicopter. Really good colors. Mm -hmm. On the red and blue and yellow. Yeah, I'm, I'm oh, quite impressed with that. On the, cats on the pad. Yeah. Cats on me. <laughs> cats on me. Yeah. Cats after the controller. <laughs> this is adding a whole level of difficulty yeah. to this. <laughs> Yeah, that's what Jatari's for. <laughs> he, he likes with. he likes to increase the uh, level dif difficulty. Yeah. So if your if your game has no difficulty levels, just get a fluffy gray cat and uh, put him on your lap. Yeah, yeah, it's a whole. Yeah, he does. Oh. oh, oh, now he's trying to chat. <laughs> oh, and now he's he's Quit. minimized the <laughs> Twitch chat, and I have no idea where I am now. What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> just in case you're wondering, tablets are paw sensitive. They are. They're not just human uh, sensitive. They uh, work with cat paws. Yes. Um, I have and no I think idea. there are many games for cats too that you can uh, download. Oh yeah, where they they chase after fish and things like Little that. Mice but, and bugs um, on the screen, but I would not want to sacrifice my tablet screen to a cat. Or just clip their claws really short. Or if they know not to scratch it, then it's okay. There we go. Maybe when our tablet gets really old. But then they're kind of being trained to go after things on screens, which they uh, could go after something on television. There were some ads a while back, local ads here, that um, one of our cats went after. It was a completely white screen with animals flying and oh, running. Oh my goodness. And the cat would just attack the screen. No. Immediately a seeing. What it was is in, in where we are in British Columbia, um, we have a mobile phone provider called Telus. And their whole advertising campaign is a white screen with animals running across and doing things. So the ad had hummingbirds. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, the size and dimensions of the hummingbird were just perfect that our, our older cat, who has since passed away, um, no matter where you were in the living room... 727! Very good. Would run from any direction and dive bomb, the, dive bomb the screen. <laughs> That's so funny. He would dive bomb the screen um, in order to catch the hummingbird. And you literally would have to Change the leap channel. up, leap up and... Yeah. and try to get between the cat and the screen because um, uh, she would actually like probably run straight into the screen. Put that so. on that side. Okay. Because Atari is pawing it constantly. <laughs> so All let's right. see what the instructions... Did you read the instructions for this one? Yes, I did. Okay. Oh, and that's how you die. So let's switch up to non-random walls after... No? Do you want me to switch No, it? no. Okay. Don't. <laughs> so this oh. game is made in 1K of ROM. That is pretty good. So the graphics for the helicopter, um, the all the code for the movement, the scoring, the characters for the the score, all the color information for the walls in the bottom and the top really really nice so this is very very amazing for 1k and actually i believe they're all 1k they're uh, all little games. 1k games yeah because i think this is a 4k um total cartridge cartridge um so some people try and challenge themselves some programmers challenge themselves to stay within the 4k original limit okay oh, that was one of the limits for programming um when the atari 2600 came out because it was very expensive uh, ram and rom um so they tried to keep costs down by uh limiting the games at first to 4k and when the when it got more when it got cheaper uh they could go up to 8 and 16 and i think the biggest one commercially released during its lifetime was 32k mountain king no, there's another one. It's a racing game. The name escapes me right now. I think Mountain King was 32K. Oh, jeez. So you want stationary platforms? New record, 727. I don't know. Excellent. <laughs> if you want to look up and see if there's any uh, records um, <laughs> recorded for this game. 
online. I'll have to look after. I don't think this uses the key, the Atari Box Plus key. I'm going to switch the options after this. And it's actually pretty cool that even for 1K it has options too that you can change. And a title screen. <laughs> okay, I'm going to switch it. All right. So this should change it to non-random. Uh, it's non-random walls. I don't know what that means. So, are they at regular intervals? This is not, sorry, non-random? Non-random walls. <laughs> Maybe get through the first Getting one. Getting it every time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm making some poor choices here. They seem, oh no, they're not further apart. They seem pretty equal here. Pretty equal. The other ones were fairly randomly spaced, somewhere closer together. Oh. Actually, the high scores do pertain to certain difficulties. For, so for this one, there would be four types of scoring. Random, non-random walls, moving walls, stationary walls. I think the stationary walls would be much easier, so... then you don't have to time it out. Oh. A little hint that I found out mm -hmm. that sometimes you can stay low and make it through oh, quite the a next few. one because it's just hitting uh, like that one. Maybe it's pretty, you know. It, it becomes a pretty narrow space. It does. Maybe it works better on the other setting. But I was able to get through two at a time on low and then I'd go high. So it says Splatterform, oh, Splatterform 2600 is based on Robin Harbin's great 2002 award-winning C64 game. He generously allowed me to use his game idea for my project. Crash and Dive is probably my first original game, but it is based on many ideas of other games. Cave 1K, which we're playing, is based on the popular well-known Java game. Um, and he does not comment on... What was it? Oh, there's just three games. I thought it was four games. So there's three games on a title screen. So what the title screen uses up 1K. And then the three... I thought I saw four there, at the There are four. It only shows... Uh, what am I missing? Uh, oh, swoops. Oh, it doesn't have a, a really good... It's not the same as every other screen. Okay. Oh, no. No, there is... Three there are only. four games. Splatterform, Crash and Dive, and Cave 1K. There and were then, four options. And then three a thon. Oh, three a thon. Which I'm guessing you oh, do all three in a row. Oh, it just alternates? Alternates between them? That would make sense. Okay, that would make sense. So. Now, the fourth choice, three a thon, lets you play through all three in turn by pressing select after each game over to highlight and select the next. Oh, okay. So three a goes back to the title screen each time. Oh, oh and it adds up your scores. Okay. Oh, and you have to put the paddles in port. Oh, in the right controller port. Okay. So I'm going to go dig out the paddles so we can play the last game. Sure. I will just continue playing this game for a little while, yep. while longer. Ah! Ah! Die. I know. I know. Terrible. Terrible. I'll wait until you die. <laughs> there you go. Okay, I got some paddles. Wreck. Record on high scores 936 by a guy in Ireland. Really? Well, I wasn't that far away. No, you were doing pretty good. Um, I'll have to look that up, see what settings it is, and beat it! <laughs> Get another high score! Well, the other one was a tie. So I still have to play some more wall jump ninja. You still have to get through that tiny, tiny little, <laughs> like, tiny. Or time, pixel size space. <laughs> or time up the warp. 
so that I can oh, get, you a, skip past him. get ahead um, as much as possible through the That time actually would make sense. Yeah. So I'll let you die, and then we're going to plug in the paddles. Okay. To play the last game. And then we're going to do a three a thon. Oh. See who gets the top score. Oh. <laughs> okay. In all three. And then we'll have Atari give it a try. Yeah. So how about that? He'll do well. Oh, sorry, you get to see a blank screen here for a second. Yeah. Hi, come here. It's your turn. Now these are short. Um, can you pick? Um, what would you want? Three a thon? No. Save one K? Uh, crash and die. So we can try the paddles. Okay. I have to lean forward. Oh, there's a cat <laughs> Cat on my seat. There you go. Soup. <laughs> okay. You're not doing very well. You're not hitting any platforms. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, no. That's just... Wiggle this, get some, get this. Oh, that's not good. I don't know about this paddle. How come the button's not restarting the game? Is it the other button? No. Okay. Okay, is that bad? No, nope. nope. you have to hit every platform. Every platform. You're supposed to smash his face into well, the platforms. Uh, oh. A lot of jitter. Do not walk on the keyboard. Don't walk on the keyboard. <laughs> this cat is into everything. Come here, come here. Oh, there's a lot of jitter on this guy. He's very jit. He's got a lot of coffee in him. <laughs> He's so jittery. Yeah. Oh, oh did, he did he squeak? Oh. He's purring though. <laughs> Just didn't want to be picked he up. He just uh, was taken aback a little bit there. Okay. Does the button do anything? Do I jump? No. No, I think you just this you just like, ran into the platform. That's all it is. This is really easy. Did my score go down on that one? Yeah. Oh, it's just going down naturally? I don't think I'm playing this right. Okay, where's the, where's the <laughs> manual? Uh... Is it on your... Oh, it's yeah. over there. All right, let's figure this out. Yeah, I'm losing score. Uh, <laughs> I think have... I'm supposed to only go through green ones or yellow or... While falling down inside a never-ending tower, Crash Toto through the colored platforms. Color. Scoring points along the way. There is this gray... event is all about color, so not the grays. Not grays. So there's lots of other ones not gray. Yeah. Yellows are fine. Yeah, just colored ones. Okay. Does the button do anything? I'm losing score still. <laughs> oh, you want to group your colors. What? So green, green? Yeah, go after all the greens. Oh, okay. But like greens are common, so you get fewer oh. points. Yellows are more uncommon. Orange are rare. So I should go so for So you can yellow. bounce on the gray. It doesn't, it doesn't change your color streak. And the blue also doesn't break your color streak. So if you want to hit a gray, that's fine. Oh, see, now you broke your color streak. So you want to go after. But you can go for blues. Think of it this way. Go Kay. for blues. Yes. You can go for blues. You can bounce on the grays. And then you can go for a streak of color for anything else. But uh. don't hit the pinks. Whatever you do, don't hit pink. <laughs> Don't hit pink. I'm doing terrible. Just don't hit pink. But even with greens, like I'm doing terrible. Because you want color streaks. Well, the greens are making me go up. Oh, no grays. I got purple and game over. Is purple bad? Deadly to the touch, magenta. Yeah. What? <laughs> okay. 
No greens. Do not touch greens. Yellows are fine. Oh. Well, you can, you know, you can touch greens, but you, you just want to always hit the same color. So you're better off going for the rare when it's slow and the more common when it gets faster. Hmm. So like you can do orange and then yellow. Okay. And then yellow oh, okay. when it starts to get faster. Because they slow you down? Well, you get, you'll get points. And you can hit the gray platforms. You'll bounce if you hit the gray platforms. So it'll slow you down temporarily. Okay. So am I doing okay now getting all these yellows? Yeah, I think so. Uh, you hit a green, though. <laughs> Yellow. You can hit the gray ones, though. Oh, hitting the greens makes your score go way down. Are green actually negative score? No, but you. I think you lose score if you if you break your color sequence. This game is bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> Just remember, if you see a blue, hit a blue. You don't always yeah. blue. Orange is good. Blue is no, no, but you have to get them. You have to group them. So you have to go for all green or all yellow or, or all orange, or you'll start losing. Just points. constantly. Just yep. always. Just yellow, yellow, just yellow, no yellow, yellow. Just no pink. Just no pink. Oh, blues. Yeah. Blues are deadly. Blues oh, are no. good. Blues are good. Pink are deadly. Oh my god, it's too fast. Okay. I, I'm not good at paddle games. You have to lean forward. Okay. Oh, how do I start it? Uh, you have to press reset, which is silly. I forgot to program that you press the button. Pro button to start, though. You start the event at 300 points. For every platform that enters the screen, you lose four points. The event ends when you either run out of points or hit a magenta. So don't run out of points, don't hit magenta. Okay. Nine levels of increase in difficulty, the terror... And tower will narrow and total will fall faster. Yeah, it's, yeah. I, I did clean, um, because, uh, Arena Foot says, uh, the, <laughs> the, oh. the paddles are too jittery. And I did clean these probably about a half a year ago. Um, but obviously they're dirty again, somehow. Dirt got in them from non use. Um, maybe I should have picked out the other ones. I mean, it's still controllable. He's just a little jittery. It's not affecting the gameplay because you don't have to be super precise. He's not like jumping all over the place. He is jittery though. He is very jittery. He's got a lot mm -hmm. of coffee. He's just got coffee in him. Mm -hmm. So blue. Blue is good. You want all the blues you can find. Yeah. So gray you don't lose score. So grays are totally fine. You just don't get anything. Like, you don't lose score for hitting anything, it says. No, you just die when you hit me. No, you do. You want color. You want color streaks. Ah, I screwed that up. <laughs> you want color streaks. Let's see. Oh, it looked gray. <laughs> it looked gray, and then it turned pink. Hmm. Now you have to press the reset. Bad programming. Just kidding. Where is it? Which one? <laughs> right hand one. Careful. Sorry. Yeah, you know, I'm not sure I like this game. <laughs> it's, it's weird. It is a little weird. It's weird. It's fast. It's hard to understand. I mean, it's it's a cool concept. Um, but it's super weird, and it doesn't say you lose score by breaking your streak. Well, I assume you do, because it looked like you were losing score. By breaking you, your streak. You lose ah. you lose score by every single one that you pass by. So what? isn't it yeah. That doesn't make sense. Uh yeah. Every let's see. I'm very confused. For every platform that enters the screen, you lose four points. No, but you drop. You drop if you if you're if you're not in sequence. doesn't say that just says that you get more points if you are in sequence doesn't say you drop points if you're not no i'm positive you so it's points. better to do them in sequence yes 
because the third hit on green is nine. So if you keep getting greens, you get nine, 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 nine every time. And that'll keep you up. And you, so you should hit, always hit the gray because it slows you down and you don't get a zero. It doesn't break your streak No, it though. doesn't. It has to be a double. No, no, the gray, ah. the gray doesn't break your color sequence. No, no, no. It, but it, you only bounce if it's a double. Is oh, what I'm really? saying. Yeah. It does slow Oof. you down though. It slows you down a little. Okay, so I think I've figured out the, this game a little bit more now. <laughs> so you have to pick a color, stick with it. Yeah. You can hit the, any gray you want, and it will slow you down or bounce. Well, no, yeah, the gray won't do anything, but if it's a double, usually there, it's a gray, it's a double? Yeah, doubles bounce. Ah. But the gray won't... The gray won't bounce. But it'll slow you down. It, no, it will only... You're messing with me. <laughs> it, won't bounce, it won't bounce you, but it'll slow you down. No, it will only slow you down if it's a double. <laughs> only the doubles slow you down. No, no, because I've gone right through a bunch of grays. If it's a single gray, you just go through it. Every time you hit a platform, Toto Descent slows down a little bit. No, no, Every but, single but you bounce up when it's a double, is I what I'm that. saying. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. but you, you don't really slow down. You slow down when you bounce. You don't really slow down that much. You slow down a tiny a bit. A tiny bit, yeah. No, 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 but like, like so I'm sticking to with... really slow down, you have to hit, you have to hit a double platform. I'm going to do a green run. Well, so initially, according to that strategy, you get more points for the orange, so initially when it's slow, you're better off targeting the orange and then when it gets faster going for the yellow than the green oh because oh orange but, first but but just go with the green for now that's what i was doing because do it's green easier the whole time. yeah it gets a lot harder ah. Ah. <laughs> or yellow there seems to be quite a lot of yellows mm -hmm. yeah so what i was trying to say is yes the platforms slow you down but Really, the bouncing slows you down. <laughs> <laughs> What's the big number? What's the big score? The high scoring one? Blue? Blue. Okay. And do not touch the pink ones. See, now it's making a little bit more sense. bit of jitter there so oh oh yeah oh 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 don't go to the right hand side too much but i'm not advancing my score it's kind of staying even around 200 well you need to find a blue so i think yeah i need to find a blue or switch to yellows so i'm going to switch to yellows oh and the, the um oops I forgot I was on yellows. Oops. Green. <laughs> <laughs> Get the green. So the, Get the no, green. No, no. Mm. I'm gonna stick with yellow. Oh, yeah, definitely hit the doubles. <laughs> green is kind of just keeps you even. It's not. It's not gonna help you in the long run. Oh, don't hit the pink. Pink is that's the bad one. Okay. Pink is immediate death. There you go. You get that yellow. Right. Oh. Oof. Oof. Oh, start it over. Let's get go go for greens. Yeah, I think so. Oh. Gray. Green. It's just too fast now. You're doing well though. Oops. Oh yellows. <laughs> yellows. Ah. <laughs> it's just too many. <laughs> blue. Look for blue. I haven't seen any blue. Has there been a blue? Mm. Ah. 
yellow, yellow. Mm. Oh, that was the deadly one? 722. Pink. That's pretty good. Okay. That's pretty good. Again, you're done. Well, are we doing all three, or what are yeah, we doing? Yeah, we'll do, do all three. Do we have time for that, or? Do we? What time is it? It's like 10. Oh, yeah, 10 we just have time. Nine, yeah. Just have time. Okay. So. We're going to do a three-a-thon, and I think it's a one-player type thing. So one person does, does all, three, all three. Okay. And then we see the score, and then okay. the next person does all three. So you get one three. shot at each. Yes. Okay. That's not, that doesn't bode well <laughs> Cave <for me>. 1K, <laughs> Cave 1K is going to be brutal, because. Yeah. Because how many times do you die on the first wall? Yeah. You know? So yeah. you want to go first? Or you want me to go first? Um, I'll go first. Okay. I can. So we're starting at. I'm guessing Splatiform. Oh, jeez. Now it has actual real scores. <laughs> but this has lives. This game. This. Oh. So there's three. You get three lives in this game. Yeah. Yeah. No. In this one for sure. <laughs> Too far. Oh, uh, sometimes you just fall, last life. fall through the cracks. Yeah. Oh, he just doesn't like it. He's just squeaking because he doesn't like being picked up right now. We are not torturing cats. We just no. want to be clear about that. It's just like, no, I don't want to be up right now. So what do I hit? Select? Uh, oh, it might. Let me read so it doesn't wreck scores. Okay. Hi. 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 Okay. Three of thon. Pressing select after each game over. It's the second from the right. Ah, there you go. So it's still on three of thon, and now you're on crash and dive. Wait. It's this. It's this. It's this. Use this. Yeah. Okay. Paddle. What are you going to go for? Yellow? I don't know. <laughs> One for grays. Orange. Orange. Not many oranges. It's a brave move. It's a high mm -hmm. scoring move, though. Ooh. Oh, uh. ruined it. <laughs> oranges. Yeah, you get a lot of points really quick if yeah, you go for like, orange, there's but there's like hardly nothing. any. And you lose tons of points by not hitting by them, properly by not hitting anything because yeah. you lose like four points i think oh arena foot says good score which it was it was a good score for the first really <laughs> <laughs> for the first game yeah i think i'm gonna go for yellows they're at that sweet I spot agree. where green is a little too common and doesn't give you any points and orange is too uncommon yeah, it feels like you're not you're, you're not you're not you're not running. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, I missed one. Sometimes they just happen so fast. Okay, I might be switching to to green. <laughs> yeah. Mhm. Mm At this point, probably green is a good idea. Oh. Oh, 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 40 points left. Oh, no. Are you going to zero out on this one? Oh, I think you are. No. Oh. That's okay. I didn't hit a pick one. Now select, and then you go back to joystick. Mm-hmm. I think the paddle could have been used in splatiform. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like left and right and, and jumping. Oh, Sorry. Press select again. I think you ruined it. Yep. No, I didn't. <laughs> you did. It's now down to 107 points. What? And the three-a-thon's gone. Aww. Okay, start the three-a-thon again. No, no, you have to start it again. No, I can... Oh, I guess so. Yeah, because it keeps track cumulatively Sorry, if you're on three-a-thon. that's my bad. I, I went back to the three-a-thon <laughs> for some no. absolutely ridiculous reason. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. You get to... Uh, Try again with your score on, uh, <laughs> on the second game. Okay. Try and get a better I score. Need to get relaxed here. Is it? 
Is this a uh, variable? Uh, yeah, I think oh. it's random. No, 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 the uh, heights, because it feels it static. Is. Oh. It feels a bit no. static to me. Oh, it, yeah, 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 it is static. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> you want me to switch it? <laughs> no, it's too late now. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. 754. Okay. Dive. Yep, now use that. Are you going for yellows or greens? Mm. I think green is just a bad idea all for all. You just don't make enough really? points. You're not getting anything. Oh, oranges. Brave. I don't think there's enough oranges <laughs> to justify even doing yeah, this. Yeah, I. Like you're behind I... already. I know. Because everything is four and you only have to miss 12 and now and you're behind. Oh, no, now you're ahead. Okay, well. Maybe it's not so bad, but it's risky. It is risky. And it goes faster because you're not hitting as many things. Yeah. Ooh, pink. Is that deadly? Yeah, that's the pink. I haven't seen any blue. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh. Okay, green. green. <laughs> <laughs> going to green. Or maybe go yellow. No, there's no yellow. Thank you. <laughs> Sometimes those bounces are a bit risky. Well, they slow you significantly, it's, though. They do. But also could bounce you into something you don't want. Oh, doing good. Getting higher scores. 555. No. Ah! Uh, oh, doing really well. Has anybody made a Guitar Hero style Atari 2600 game? Anybody out there know? I should look it up. Because I had an idea for one and how it works. And... <laughs> oh, you're missing all the dust. <laughs> oh, no. All your score. Oh, you're Destroyed. getting it back now. Getting it back a little bit. Oh, oh it's all going away. Oh, back a bit now. <laughs> <laughs> this is so hard. This game switches it's quickly. It's so hard. From. Ugh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All your hard work. Oh, 56, 78 points. I think it might be actually a good tactic to look for a purple one when you have a high score because it's so easy to lose well that's what i find really strange is so easy to lose your score it's, it, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh well <sighs> now careful is that my high score I don't know what that is. Is that the highest point? So maybe your high score is the highest point you reach. Oh. Does that seem fair? Does that, that seem right? That does seem fair. That seems fair to me. Because <laughs> I did, that, I was doing pretty well there for a second. No, careful. <laughs> Use that. Okay, okay. Select a cave 1K. Okay, okay. <laughs> now this is hard with only one life. You have to be super careful not to die immediately. Yeah, that seems more fair in the last one, where it's your highest point. Because going to zero, that would just mean you get zero. It just makes it hard to increase your score. Oh. 302. <laughs> okay, that's not terrible. Yeah. That's not terrible. No, it's, it's a hard not. game. I think you did really well. Okay. So I would. How I do I write that score or, down? <laughs> write it on the. Here's a pen. 
And now we just need a piece of paper. I think I have a pad. So I can write it on the manual? Is no, that what you're saying? No, no, no. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> if you find an ET manual, you can uh, write it on there. All right, fair enough. Um, oh. These lights are making this room very hot. It is. It's getting very hot. Cats can go in and out now. Okay. So, am I supposed to know what the total is? You will in a second. 2020. All right. Well, good luck. <laughs> Thank you. I will need it. That's not <laughs> a bad score. Okay, three thon. I think you'll do better on this. You were doing really well on this one before. I think this is where I'm going to excel. But I'm not so sure oh. on the second game. It's hard when you oh. end up when you end up towards the bottom. Yeah. Suddenly you get you get these big gaps and you're screwed. You have to kind of stay as close to the top of the screen as possible, I think. Yes. You want to you want to stay at the on the top platforms. Yeah, cuz once you end up down, oh. it becomes so much easier to accidentally fall through a crack. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Nine eighty four. That's pretty good. Halfway there, almost. Yeah. Mm, hi, Pixel. Okay, I'm gonna go for yellow. Now watch this cat. He is the troublemaker. You know what? Some of the colors look like they flash and change. The greens and the yellows, especially. What? Yeah, I see. I see sometimes like um. Oh my God! Look at all those oranges. <laughs> ah, jitter. <laughs> Blame the jitter. Oh, you missed the blue. Oh, I didn't even see it. I think I hit something wrong. Yeah, you hit a green. Doing terrible. Terrible score. Nowhere near yours. I knew you'd do better on this than me. Come on. Ah, it's too fast. Oh. Ooh. Still nowhere near your score. I was doing well with enough. the yellows for a while there. Yeah, you were. Just need a good run of yellows. Four. I think you got like 700? 900, didn't you? 962. Oh my god. So I have to get nine between. Oh, can you get the cat? <laughs> oh, good job. <gasps> He's going to reset something. Can you get him, please, please, quick? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I can't see. Yeah. I knew he'd be trouble. He's Keep him away trouble. from everything. He's always trouble. He is. Sorry. Gotcha. No, you're sharp. <laughs> oh, you're so sharp. Is he bitey? Oh, uh, he needs his claws cut. See, I lost ow, all ow. my score. Oh, I'm so because sorry. Because of the bad cat. Not your fault. <laughs> cat's, cat's fault. Cat's fault? <laughs> Definitely the cat's fault. You're at 600. Uh, I can maybe make it back up. Oh. I like the tones. It feels very like you're go you're making making music. Here. Go for green till I see a yellow. There we go. Yeah, the tones have been... uh, 776. That's pretty good. Not too that's bad. Pretty good. I think that's pretty good. Ooh, still below you, so I need to get 
a decent score on well, this. Well, you did pretty well on that, I think. I just have to not die too early. Okay. So I need three, 360 to tie. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which is not impossible, but not like super, super easy. Yay! Winner! So close. <laughs> oh. Good job. That was fun. What did I get? <gasps> oh, no, you beat me! Oh, oh, that's not fair. Oh, I must have got, like, some extra points on my first score. Maybe. Like, a little bit extra. Oh, no, you definitely did better on your first one. Oh. Like, way better on your first one. I thought you knew what you needed, so. No, I was rounding. No. I was rounding oh, down, I, I guess. I was rounding no, down. No, you beat me by 40, 47 points. That's yep. that's pretty close. Very close. Yeah, just, yeah, good job. Thank you. <laughs> good job on YouTube. You just, we just had better scores on different games. Yeah, that's true. I like that paddle one. Yeah, that's, that's fun. It, it's challenging. It's At very challenging. At first I was like, this is terrible and weird and hard to understand. Yeah. <laughs> but once yeah. you get it and understand it. Yeah. It's it's good. So it's yeah, actually it's a fun. really fun it collection. Is fun. Yeah. Especially the it's... three a thon where you can compete against Yeah, that's the a good idea. I yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, and you you have your total score to compete against each other. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's good. So thumbs up on that mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. Um big thumbs up on Jump VCS as well. I like that a lot. Nice and challenging. Yeah. Um not so crazy about the squishum. I mean it's great concept obviously because it's a classic game that was ported to many many systems <laughs> but it's just a little too repetitive um to keep to hold interest um He's gone. so this is low on my list of replayable games i think i don't think it's a bad game it's 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 great game it play. just feels it's a little repetitive that's just all. over and over yeah. and over nothing new unless mm -hmm. we didn't make it far enough but the manual didn't say anything about anything else getting more exciting mm. oh, i thought i switched it there we go <laughs> there we go we're bigger now mm -hmm. so a uh, good collection of games we definitely recommend picking up the swoops mm -hmm. and the jump vcs um from wherever you want to pick them up some some of these games are sold on atari age and other places other as well and, sites, yeah. and they put them on different cartridges sometimes they give you different covers sometimes so wherever you want to get them but these are all available at least at atari h mm -hmm. great company um so that's it for this week mm -hmm. um i don't know if darcy will be here next week he usually comes every second week but he missed this week who knows yeah. um and well he... we just we just hope darcy feels better soon yes so, so um, if you're watching yeah. darcy uh get better soon yes and be healthy <laughs> so you can come back play some games I'll probably do a midweek one uh, again, probably playing Wall Jump Ninja, <laughs> trying to get a higher score. Very good. I have heard rumors that somebody got 78. Oh, really? Undocumented 78, no screenshots mm. or anything. Well, you're going to have to practice a bit then. And, <laughs> and 66 is the documented high score. Okay. Um, so I at least want to get high score on the documented highscore.com okay so i might do that on a the wednesday or tuesday or thursday whenever i have a chance um so if uh, you can see on the bottom of the screen i added that that's our social media you can follow us on youtube twitch facebook instagram twitter we're all at uh, zero page homebrew uh it's, twitter doesn't have the w at the end because it's too long and um, so just search for us on any of those platforms and you can see announcements and pictures and things like that when we're going to play next. So um, have fun today. <laughs> yeah, no, it was a lot of fun. Good. good I really good. enjoyed I especially the last three. I think that's a really fun little game. So yeah, yeah it was games. good. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know what we'll play next time. Um, lots more games to play. We might do work in progress games or who knows. We'll see. I don't have anything picked out yet. But the midweek, I'll probably do Wall Jump Ninja. Just 
so I can put it to rest, get a good high score, hopefully a couple above 66, so I give some room for some challengers to come up. Um, but that's it from us. And me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so thanks for, uh, thanks for watching, and we will see you next week on Zero Page Homebrew. Bye-bye.